Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another mukbang. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. Today we are doing something that's been a long time coming. It's been on a post-it note that said, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and it's finally here. What like are we having year, today? Like a year later, we're finally having Vidya Taco. Yes, I'm so excited. It's just something that has been all over, I feel like, the internet, and I feel like that by the time that we actually got around to it, I don't know if it's trendy anymore, but it looks delicious. It's okay, we still want to try it. Yeah. So maybe we'll bring back the trend. But today, Mark has prepared a birria from scratch. Um, it was a labor of love. I think it's been about two and a half to three hours yeah. from start to finish. Yeah. Um, and we decided to make tacos. So for those of you who don't know what birria is, how would you describe it? It is a stewed meat in a lot of like chill, dry chili, and um, onions and garlic in the stew. Um, we used a pressure cooker mm -hmm. to cook it and then make a taco out of it. Yeah, so the protein of choice we used today was short rib. Mm. So I know a lot of other people, uh, they can use lamb, they can use mutton, they could use oh. pork. And then we also have this back here. It's kind of warm, it's still warm to the touch. This is the consomme which is basically all of the drippings after the meat has been stewed. In the pot. In the pot. So we're gonna probably add a little bit of lime in there to give it a little burst of yeah, flavor. Yeah, onions and cilantro Oh too. yes, we have these on the side. You wanna, you know what? I'm just gonna add those right now. Yeah, get everything just, yeah, set just add, up. add that in. You got your little gloves on, preparing to go into surgery. Well, this could be messy on the hands, so I'm, you know, wearing the gloves. You're prepared. I'm prepared. All right. And what are we drinking? Oh, we are drinking, uh, Corona has their own brand of seltzers, or yeah. line of seltzers, so I'm, They're we both have raspberry. Bad. Zero carbs, zero sugar, 90 calories. Yes. Okay, cheers. cheers. Ooh, this is good. Oh, it, it tastes better than White Claw, actually. Oh my god. You got it? Oh, the cheese kind of the melted onto each other. Oh my god, look at this. Oh. oh, and we need a little bit of lime in here, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Ooh, perfect. Okay, after you, chef first. Okay, so you're supposed to dip it in here? Yeah. How fun. Okay, oh yeah, oh. this is gonna be messy. <gasps> Let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the meat's so good. Oh my god. Baby, the meat's good. That is delicious. <gasps> I'm sure lamb or mutton will be good, but use short ribs. Spend a little bit of extra money and buy short rib. Yeah. We use boneless short rib. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I never had this before. Mm -mm. Oh my god, it's so simple too in terms of mm -hmm. what else is in here. We got the cheese, the cilantro, the onions. Mm. How was making the birria? Was it hard? No, it was relatively easy, I think. Like, I was always intimidated, but once you get all the ingredients, not, you just put it in an instant pot, it's not that bad. Girl, you have the BDS or como ah! sauce all over your chin. That means it's good. I've only <laughs> seen... I'm eating it right. Oh my god. Oh, dipping in this makes it fun. Mm. It's giving me this like French dip mm. vibes, but with the taco. Mm. 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 Oh, maybe we should have made more. <laughs> we actually have... A lot of actually leftover meat, so you can also eat it like a soup almost, mm, right? Mm. So you, we have the leftover broth, add um, some of the shredded beef on top, and then the other... Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> oh! <laughs> On a cold winter day, this will warm your soul for sure. Oh my god. Maybe we should save some. This would be a good chaser. <laughs> <laughs> With tequila? I think so, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we we bought three kinds of dried chili. Mm. And then we kind of had that soaked in hot 
beef broth. Mm. And then we kind of mixed it in with diced tomatoes and um, I don't know. Took out half of the spice rack, I felt like. <laughs> Oregano, cumin, coriander, all that. Put it in a blender, mix it up, and then that just pours over into the uh, the Instapot. Yeah, and we saved a lot of time using the Instapot yeah. um, doing that, so yeah. that was really great. Like, this took from start to finish two and a half hours, but then if we didn't use a pressure cooker... All day affair? It, we This would be dinner for us. Yeah. You don't have to worry about getting your hands dirty on this one because it's guaranteed. Oh my God, look, you got that little cheese. Uh, the the um, melted cheese. Yeah. Oh. Mm. We are totally inspired by views on the road because she has a couple of video recipes on, so we watched all her videos and we were inspired to make our own version. Yeah, she always says, make it comfortable for your home. So we swapped out the meat. What kind of meat did she use? I think she used truck roast, yeah. which is also very good. Um, but we used short rib. And then um, when I was at the market, their tortilla, I was gonna get corn tortilla, mm. but there's this one brand, um, they, mix flour and corn together so i was curious because have you had that before mm -mm. me neither so what do you think about the tortilla i love this yeah it's like truly a hybrid of both of the tortillas mm. so has this been around for a while because honestly i did not know about this until a year or two ago me really me neither mm. Mm. This is like a enchilada taco or something, like a wet taco instead of wet burrito. Right? Yeah. Mm. I think what makes it next level for me is the fact that the meat that it's been, the juice that it's been simmering in for an hour is reunited with the meat. Oh my gosh, if I think it. about it, we're using the, the stew part three ways. So it's cooked with the meat and then you use it to fry the t tortilla, and then you use it to dip your tacos See? in. It's like some like, you know, really nice, like, you know, Mexican mom, grandma, abuela, <laughs> was like, what are we gonna do with all these leftover stew juices? Yeah. Let's just dip the tortilla in and fry it up. Let's use it to dip, you know, how smart. Repurpose it, yeah. I know. Well, I think for sure we could totally, um, I'm already thinking about dinner. We could definitely eat it with the soup, the broth, the meat, and maybe just make some wh white rice would be good. Oh, right. Yeah. And then we also have some avocados and maybe oh, add yeah. a little dollop of sour cream. Oh my God. I'm we're, ready for dinner. We already, <laughs> we already at our last two tacos. That was quick. That was quick. I'm oh my to God. It and I'm just like, mm. oh my God. I thought we had a few more tacos to yeah, eat, but I'll this, to you. but we're, we're, we're on our last one already. It's just a beautiful color that you got on here too. Yeah. Surprisingly, I thought things were going to fall out, but mm. only into my mouth. <laughs> that cheese is probably holding everything together. Mm. Mm. This is a treat. Thank you again, mukbang world. I don't feel like we would have eaten this if we didn't see it like blasted all over the internet. Oh, wow. We don't, we're sharing one bowl of the sauce. And I'm like, yeah, we don't, we're more than enough. It's almost gone. What happened to it? <laughs> James is a sauce king. How do you know I'm eating a lot of it? Or a queen. <laughs> hmm. Do I have anything on my face? <laughs> oh my God. When we opened up our pressure cooker, the smell made it, smell, our house made it smell like a really great 
authentic Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Mm. Not that we ever did this before, but I don't think we'll ever do that ground meat with the seasoning thing ever again if I know that you can make this. <laughs> no? Mm, the gloves come off. I forgot that this pan is all greasy from this, and oh my, I almost fell. Mm. My heart's trembling right now, I feel it. <laughs> what? It is. <laughs> well, we ate so fast today. Yeah, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, like two minutes? <laughs> YouTube short. <laughs> I think it's because we're also very hungry. Yeah. And we've been smelling the meat all day long. So I think we just kind of devoured this, but this is probably the best taco I had in 2021. Best taco? Yeah. Best taco I had in 2021. I don't even remember what would come second. We've only had fish tacos this year. Oh, that like. was old. OC best fish taco. <laughs> but not as good as Mark Bedia homemade tacos. I can you know, say that with confidence. I have a confession. Like a year or two ago when Bedia was first like, you know, all over the internet. You had it without me? No. Oh. But the confession is, I just assumed it was with beer. Oh. Like made with cerveza, you know, like bidia. That's not a bad, like, that's okay. Like the 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 sauce is, has like it cooked down with beer or something, no? It's, no, I, I would believe that, that makes sense. Oh, so if I told you that, you'd be like, what? I would add a beer to this. <laughs> I wouldn't have made fun of you for it. Oh, you know what I mean. Okay. So like, because it's a reasonable thing. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another mukbang. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out one of our other videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Make sure you eat this, order this, make this.